Are you ready? You hate everything about this. <laughs> but you're very brave. Look at you exploring. Look at you exploring. Where are you gonna go? As you can see, it's gonna be a really fun day for guinea pigs over here. <laughs> oh my God, she found someplace else to hide. All right, guys, it is weigh-in day. It is nails, it's Gigi's meds because she is back on antibiotics. I heard crackling in her lungs the other day, so we are on a different antibiotic this time. We are on doxycycline. She was on enroflaxin for her first round. And um, she's hiding from me. Hey, beautiful. You want to go back in there, don't you? Come here, choo-choo train to the doctor. Or we could call it a spa day if that sounds more fun for you. She doesn't care about critical care. <laughs> so this isn't even that exciting for her. She's trying to go back in her Oh, she, if she could hop that fence, she would in a heartbeat right now. Look at her cute butt cheeks. You have cute butt cheeks. Come here, I have to catch you. I have to catch you. I know, I know. I know, I know. Let me grab your eye. Let's wait you first. You ready? All right, you zeroed out. Just count one, two. You're like nine, nine, nine. If you stopped moving, I would know for sure, you little booger. Well, you're at like 999. You've gone up a little bit because you were 989 at the vet the other day. Because I have your papers right here. Are you ready for your mess in? No. It's so purple and pretty. Look how pretty it is. You can do it. Look at you. Oh my God. Look how good you are now. You weren't doing that yesterday. You want to wash it down with curl care? Oh, I just splurged you. Oh my God, look at you becoming such a good patient. Look at you, you little mature little bunny rabbit. You being so mature. Look at you. Barely, she's like. You finished. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. All right, so this guinea pig absolutely hates having her ears touched. Hates it. We're gonna start with her grease gland. Cause she's gonna hate that too. Okay, I'm gonna touch your butt. You cool with that? I'm gonna come right in here and find your grease gland. Let me find it. Sir, are you doing kind of like an overall health check while you weigh in? Uh, well, so here's how I do weigh-ins. When I do weigh-ins, a lot of times, I'm just gonna wipe the critical care on me. I do more than one thing, right? Cause it's like, you've already caught them. They're outside of their cage. Why not do a little bit more? She literally hates being touched. I know, I'm gonna rub it right here. Found your grease, I know, I know. It's okay. She's like, it's not okay. <laughs> We're just lubing it up. I know, baby. She's one of those little piggies that has like sensory issues in the sense where she is not, but look, boom. Wait, let me see it. I'm wiping it all on me because that's what, that's what the dirty clothes is for. Mama's pig clothes. I'm just loosening it. I'm rubbing in the coconut oil. I know mommy's overstimulating you, but it's so necessary. I could have just be wiping this on the cotton swab, but y'all, I think you know by now, like, I don't care. <laughs> you have this many pets, you just stop caring. And I can actually get a feel for where it needs to be rubbed in more. Hi, it's just me. Yeah. Okay, yours wasn't bad. Look at that. Do you clean your little hiney? Can you clean it? All right, so I usually use olive oil to do the ears, but she is like super sensitive to being touched in your ears. You're about to see. So I just take the coconut oil and really rub it into the pad. She's gonna start shaking immediately. She, like I, I just go to touch her ear. She's always been like this. And I, at the vet, I'm like, how are her ears? And they're like, look fine. I'm like, are you sure there doesn't have affection in there? Cause she acts, but she's just so hypersensitive to being touched. But we're, mommy has to do it. Let mommy in there. Yeah, let mommy in there. I know, I know. They're not even that bad. She's a overall very clean piggy. So you clean her ears with coconut oil? Yeah, I used to do it with olive oil. Um, the olive oil is just so runny and I felt like I didn't have as much control over like how 
wet and oily it was, but with the coconut oil, I felt as though, I know, just a little bit, ready? Look at her little eye. She says, it feels good once you do it. I just don't necessarily like being touched. So I don't use a Q-tip on her at all. There's just like no way I could put a Q-tip in this guinea pig's ear. She would lose her mind. Yeah. Look how good of a pig pig she you is are. freaking out. Oh, she hates every second of this. You're so pretty. Here, let's give you a snuggle. This is how we snuggle, because I don't really like snuggles. Look at your face. Well, that sure is cute. Can I kiss you? Mommy loves you. All right, so transport Piggy back to safety. I think you just put her on someone. No, nope, Piggy's right there. It was close to him, but it wasn't on him. This is like terrible for your back. All right, well, I have like Piggy parts on me. Next. Hi, pretty girl. Who do you have here? I have Ole. She stopped eating critical care a little while ago. Like she used to eat it. Like I could just stick my hand in her cage and she'd be like, heck yeah, yummy. And now she fights it. I'm not quite sure why, but things like that always just kind of worry me. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, Splooter. Splooter Magooter, you ready? So how many pigs are you doing today? Well, I have seven pigs. Oh, we're doing all the pigs. We're doing all the pigs. You can't just like weigh only a couple of them. What's the point? of knowing progress. Stay, you little Tonkin. Yep, stay. One, one, seven, six. You're beautiful. <laughs> one, one, seven, six. Hey, you ready for the fun parts? Like me touching your little Reese in? Nobody likes it. Huh? Well, I don't think David really cares. <laughs> oh, David. I think David's like, eh, that's fine. I'm okay with it. You touching me? Eh. Right, let me find yours. I know. Let's get it. Let's get so it. So can grease glands get clogged? Yeah, you don't want them to get to, like some guinea pigs have like more production than others. Like as you saw, Gigi's like not bad. Whereas like Alexis, she creates more. I don't know if like what, or why, but just like some of our hair as humans is oilier, oilier than others. Pigs sometimes create more grease and get more of a buildup than others. It's just, and sometimes it has to do with the, their hair. All right, so we are soaking in there. Yeah. See how she's being way more tolerant than Gigi? She just, Gigi is very sensitive to being touched period. So you soak it at first and then... Kind of just rub the oil around and loosen up that and pot. You pull? Um, you shouldn't have to pull. It'll like, look, see, I'm not even pulling. Oh. It it's just, just comes it comes loose. You don't want to pull too much because you don't want to cause them discomfort. So you really just want to like kind of just massage the area until you feel the clumps come off. Like you can just feel, you almost feel their little tailbone. You're like, that, that's their little tailbone. It's just a little bone. It almost feels like a little poopy. So her ears, she's got black skin and fur. So therefore, as far as just to like look in her ears, you're not going to be able to tell how clean or dirty they are until you actually go in there and get the see. dead skin cells. Yeah. And see how she's letting me touch her ears. She might not necessarily like it, but she isn't she doesn't fight me see there you go like oh my god my when god. you look in her ear it doesn't look like it's dirty it's because she's it has to do it, their color right yeah so her skin is black so her dead skin cells are gonna also be black and you don't want to go too deep you don't want to make it like you know just like your own ear canal you, you don't want to go deep you just need to get that just yep okay. oh. say i'm done but yeah, that was one ear. And now we do the other. Again, like I just rub the oil, I take the clump that's in it, and I just kind of rub it into my skin so that I'm not getting like too much of the excess oil in their ear because that's not necessary. Is that Papa? It's trying to get you, make you feel even more uncomfortable than you already are. You're gonna change sides now that he's over here, aren't you? I know, but look, we're getting so much out of there, which is so important. We don't have to be perfect. 
No one needs to be perfect, just healthy. Right? Does that feel a little better? So now that she's got like a little bit of extra grit on her, what I'll do is I'll take our little comb. This is just like a flea comb for dogs. And I'll brush out her little hair. Get some of these little black ear dead skin cells off of you. Cause we're not doing baths today. You might do baths tomorrow. But again, I can't bathe all of them in one day. It's just too much. And the hiney, cause we did, we did do the grease glands. Let's get to hiney. You're such a good pig. I love you. Can we do one more? Would you would you be able to just handle mommy doing one more? This is like the best part of everything we've done. You used to do it. You used to like it. She's like, after all of that, you're still gonna make me do this. I don't know why you stopped liking it. Why you start liking it? There, just like that. Make sure there's no guinea pigs and transport. Safety. So Figgy is the last one of this group, but I am not gonna do him until the end because just like in the last video, how you guys saw me do an Epsom salt soak for him, I am doing that again because we routinely do it. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. I'm not even gonna film it at all because we all already know the deal, but that will be what I'm doing at the end with both David and Figgy. So next. Oh my gosh, she's like rebathing herself. She's like, I hate everything you just did to me. Oh, she ran away from me. <laughs> you gonna nibble me? You gonna nibble mommy while she takes his toesies with your funky toesies? You're so cute. Daddy, will you help us? Cause she's got funky toesies. Look at my big girl. Let's get you a clean one with only your germs. This we know you like. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah. They even will eat it like if I just scoop it and have like a glob. Yeah. What's really funny is this guinea pig, which is Bebe, she much prefers it coming from the syringe. If I put it in a bowl, she won't eat it. But if it's in the syringe, She'll gobble it down. All right, now for the fun stuff. All right, let's get the booty. She doesn't care, huh? Um, she's a really funny guinea pig. So she's very tolerant in the sense of you being in her butt trying to get her to move from places. She just won't. And her grease glands, honestly, she's pulling at the bed because she is annoying. See if you can see her little head working down there. Like, honestly, she just is not bad. Mommy, I've been clean since the last time we've done this. I made sure. Yeah, she's good. You're good. Yeah. She said, yeah, I'm not dirty. No, wait, wait. I'm not a dirty girl. You wanna do a little bit of the ears? Just a little bit of the ears? We're gonna do it anyway. I, I'm, I'm gonna assume you said yes. I'm gonna just pretend. You smell it? That's what it is. You can smell it, but I'm gonna go in there. I know. Okay, well, I'll try this here. And she's not nearly as dirty as Olive. Not to, not talking smack, Olive. Just, just stating some facts. Yeah, so as you can see, her skin cells are like the color of like the inside of her ears, more of a tannish brown color. Oh, here we go. We're getting some gunk. I'm finding it. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh, sorry. There's a bunch of ways to clean your guinea pig's ears and I'm not saying my way is the right way or the way you should be doing it. So, you know, watch all the videos of cleaning ears and all that kind of stuff and find what works for you and your guinea pigs. 
I say you're good. I say you did good, kid. It's so funny how you can really feel the weight difference. <laughs> All right, you're free as a bird. Oh, Johnny. Johnny's a talking girl. Look at her little butt. <laughs> Look at her little crease butt. <laughs> She's like a, a mohawk, like a little punk girl. Yeah, girl. Do the old thing on the runway. Work. Cover girl. Let's see if Johnny will just walk into this house. That's going to be a no. <laughs> she hobbles. So funny. <laughs> Between her and Alexis, they are very hard. You know, baby's right below you. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Mr. Waddles. <sighs> What's this hand doing? What's this hand doing? Look how good mommy is at wrangling a wild piggy. Because I can't get you to walk into a house voluntarily. It just doesn't work with you. You're too smart. You're just too smart. Okay, big girl. You got it, because so you big girl. One, three, five, nine. One, three, five, nine. Never disappoint my baby girl. Get in here. Yeah. In my belly. Right? You don't even need it in the syringe. You'll just eat it right off the top. She says, yeah, I will eat it right off the top. There's some more. What's wrong? It's just how much she chomps. It is so cute. <laughs> I wonder if they'll bite my finger. Let's try it. Gentle! Look at you being so gentle. <laughs> What a good kid. You're such a good kid. I like you. I can't reach you. Come to me for keesies. We gotta, we still gotta do like the not so fun stuff. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. Let's get your booty crack. Let's get the booty, booty, booty work, booty work. Mm -hmm. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Yay, where is it? There it is. The eyeballs. Like, how dare you? All right, now that we got it lubed. Oh, yeah. See? Oh. Everybody's different. It's a lot. <laughs> Some of us produce more than others. And it looks like we found a heavy. Pr Don't look at me like this that! Yeah, it's just hair matted down by the grease gland. So that's a, it's like a gluey, like, and it just mats the hair together. It's kind of like if you were to get a lock in your hair from not brushing it and not washing it and, and conditioning in it, and it kind of turns into like a lock. Or a mat, if you will. I'm almost done. I can feel it. There's just a little bit more. We're just gonna rub it around until it naturally comes off. All right, I think you're good. And you did a wonderful job. I'm very proud of you. Can I do your ears? She likes to burrow and stuff. So I'm gonna guess she gets a little bit dirtier because she likes to be under hay. So she probably has more, you know, hay particles and buildup of just dust and stuff that gets in her ears. That's just my guess. I'm not a profesh, guys. I'm just not a professional. Nope, just a guinea mom. Just doing my best. You know who else feels really good on days like this? Me. It's just very, um, I don't know. It gives you just like a satisfying feeling to check weights. No weights are good. To clean their ears. 
know that everything's good, get their grease glands right, get their nails right. I think you were meant and born to be a guinea pig. Look at you. Look at this guinea pig. I was meant to be a guinea pig. I'm living out my dreams as my purpose is being the most perfect groundhog guinea pig. Look at her face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, smushes. Look, she's got the party in the back too. Boom, boom, boom. I'm a fighter. That's why I love her. Hey, kid. You have a cowlick if you care. Oh, do I have a cowlick? I've had this cowlick since I was born. What do you mean? He goes, do you, you have a cowlick? Do you care? Like, like it's something that's not there sometimes. What do you, I look like I just had my grease gland done, right? <laughs> I just wanted to fit in with everybody. You, you always tell me, why don't you tell me about my hair? Mm. Yeah, well, today I have no makeup on, no bra on, the hair's not fixed. Like, I just, I don't even care. You get to a point, guys, when you're almost 40, and you just, you don't care. I lost my guinea pig. She went that way. Okay. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Find a house. It's easier to catch you in a house. That's like, that's a tunnel. And that's a house. My gremlin. Ooh, she's a gremlin. All right, gremlin. God, you're so cute. All right, ready? We got one, one, zero. We're going with one, 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 zero. One, 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 zero. I like those numbers. Now, this kid loves critical cow. Don't ya? Oh, I'll eat it in a bowl. I'll eat it out of a syringe. I'll eat it on top of the syringe. I'll eat it off the, well, she probably would eat it off the floor. See, I don't care. I don't discriminate. Food is food. She says, I'm a survivor. We eat. She'll just eat. Last night, I had set this on top of one of the piggy bunk beds just to turn around and get something and she had gotten up there, stuck her head in here. And I was like, Josh, can you bring me a wet washcloth? He didn't hear me. She had critical care all of <laughs> I'm like, like watch, she'll stick her head in there. Let's see if you'll do it, show him. Are you gonna act sophisticated now for the people? She's staring at me. Are you gonna act like you're not above sticking your head in something? Yeah. She, I think in her past life was a rat. I think so. She'll do whatever she has to do to get to food. That girl's like, oh, that's not good for me? Eh, who cares? I'm gonna eat it anyway. Can't stop her from having a good time with a meal. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. So I don't like to share either, and I'm not afraid to admit it. All right, I'm actually, for her, I'm just gonna put it on my finger and rub it in there. I don't need that much. See, this girl, you always have like a situation. Nope, nope, I only got one hand right now that I can work with. And you're doing great. <laughs> She's so cute. She's my bad girl. I love me a bad girl. Hey, bad girl. Hey, bad girl. How's her grease glands? Her grease glands are honestly fine. I had cleaned her grease glands like last week because I had been medicating her a lot. So she, I've had her out and I've been just, didn't do her ears though. Again, she has the black ears. So it shows up more intensely. Then let's see, her other ear is not black. So this will be a good um, example of the skin she cell difference. Not, she seems to not hate it too much. She's being pretty tolerant especially for her. But again, she's been handled a lot in the last few weeks because she's been on medication and um, on and off for almost a month now. All right, so look, that's the ear with the, with the black ear and an ear that's brown. So you can see her skin cells are black in the black ear and they're more brown in her brown ear. What a good model. And just because we know you love it and it makes you so happy, food. 
Yep, good. This is a good baby. I'm just, well, um, um, ma'am. Can I have that back? Oh, Alexis is cleaning herself because I clearly didn't do a good enough job. So she needs to reclean. So now I get to clean up my mess and do foot baths. See you next time.